Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Welcome back to Head the Henry Stickman Collection. We are about halfway through this right now. I say about halfway because the games get bigger as they go along. But it's time to show you where we are. So let's take a look real quick. We are in Infiltrating the Airship which is the fourth episode of the series. It's where the, it's where the games start getting really long. And so we're going to blast through this as well as we can. We're gonna get all of the achievements. We're gonna get all of the bios. We're gonna get all the things. We are completing all of the Henry Stickman stuff. So let's get into it. Well, well. Look, I finally decided to wake up. You've been quite elusive, but your skills make you worth the catch. You'll be perfect for the job. We've been having some issues with a group of thieves known as the Top Hat Clan. We know they're guilty, we just can't pin them down any crimes. You'll be going into the airship to bring them down. I don't need to remind you that we've got you on several charges. Attempting robbery, breaking yourself out of prison, <laughs> even stealing a Tunisian diamond. We've got quite a lot of counts on you. Do this job right, and we'll drop all charges against you. Charlie here will be bringing you close to the airship. The rest is up to you. Find a way to bring him down, and you'll be a free man. Hey, uh, how do you want me to bring you in? Okay. <laughs> Ugh. I just heard that sticky hand with the, my headphones on, and boy, that was a weird sound. Um... Okay, there's our first choice in the game. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of ways to get in. We saw with the first game, it was just, there was no getting in. It was just the prologue. It was just, here's one choice, make the right choice. And then with the second game, we saw that there was a, a path splitting with a lot of fails, and there was like a couple ways you could go. And then with the third game, it was just, here, choose your way in. And here's another choose your way in, except now we have four ways in. And so... We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some fun different stuff here, but I wanted you to notice during that opening scene when uh, when they were looking through the stings that we had done, it remembers the last path you took in the last games and makes it takes all the games and ties them together to make a connecting timeline. So there you saw that we did uh, the breaking ourselves out of prison was the hole in the ground because the last thing that we did was we used the drill and then stealing the Tunisian diamond the last thing that we did because we were going around collecting all the fails and and getting all the bios and stuff is we went and did the sneaky way and we threw the penny and everything and that was what was on his paper and so it's just really cool that it remembers each thing that you wind up doing throughout each of the games and uh and it creates this single strand timeline so let's go <laughs> These are so great, but they would get so dirty. I don't know if you guys remember sticky hands, but they were great, and they would just get really dirty, though, as a problem. Uh, zero point energy. Instant murder. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm 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 ready to get back into this. I'm, I'm already starting to feel... I, I'm not, like, laughy yet. I'm not all a giggly fits, but uh, that was, like, a, a delayed... <laughs> There was there was definitely a delayed effect of of that on me, where I was like, I watched it happen, I was like, oh, that's fine, and then a half second later, I was like, huh. Our first ending, lightning quick arsonist. A winner is you. It's actually our first failure and our first achievement because it's not actually an ending. It just gives you an achievement to kind of give it to you because it wanted to have a joke ending. All right, let's go back to the map. And let's go back to the start. Oh, uh, cannonball, yeah. Hey, I've, been, I've been looking at the numbers here. What do you think? Double monocles ah, yes. is... Let me have a look. Absolutely a mood. Go, go, I'll hold him off. I don't remember if that cut-in is from anything exactly or not. Uh, thrusters. Thrusters. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> 
and gets that one thruster going a lot faster there. Yeah, I know I really expected them to go faster with those thrusters. Me too, but it also makes sense to have slow takeoff. Because this game likes to play fast and loose with physics. Newton's third law. One force is actually two forces, and they are the same, but also different something. So this would be a plasma cannon, not a laser cannon. Again, this game likes to play fast and loose with the physics. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, of course you would start throw. Sometimes it is not. Office chairs! Everyone listen up. We've got a security alert. Keep a look out for a guy with a big plastic ball. No, no, I'm serious. Boost! Failure. Gotta go fast. Ah, there's from a Sonic boy. I wish they had a Sonic achievement here, but they don't. Oh, by the way, there's a ramp to the door. You are correct. Uh, spikes. I see you went for the defensive move. Good choice. All right, let's go ahead and get the last one while we're here. Oh, that thing was colossal. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, eject. Whoa. Uh, hurry up now, activate the doors. <laughs> Beans. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit, and they've gone wrong. By the way, if you guys haven't watched Wallace and Gromit in the wrong trousers, you need to watch that. <laughs> ah, that yell is is tickles my funny bone. Uh, metal bend. You are bender, Harry Gandalf. All right, rocket jump. Oh. Oh. No, no, get away. Now nah, I've got you. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of fails here, kids. The right-hand man attacked. Uh, let's do defend. Henry is on guard. The wi uh, white hand man strung wildly. 182, 210, 144. Henry got hurt and collapsed. Henry lost the battle. Maybe we should play Earthbound. Would you guys like to see Earthbound? That would be fun. The best offense is a good defense. Somebody unsuccessful. Uh-huh, but da. The right hand man attacked. Let's hit him with the goods. Because we're going to get the achievement and go on for right now. The right hand man was defeated. You are victorious. Hey, you win. Henry gained 2,226 XP. Bound to the earth. Oh my goodness. With the capital N for Ness. For all of you who didn't catch it. Jet Butsu. Jet Boots. Production notes. Find lighter material to construct the boots out of. This is why they won't work. Beef up. <laughs> the way he just cracked his head on that wall makes me very happy. Help, help. Defeat my right hand man. I surrender the airship to you. Oh, great work, Henry. Now just get it to us. Get you a lot of And now we choose the top bats or the government. Attack! <laughs> I love that little crit that pops up there. It's just like, da -da 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 -da. crit, oh, dead. 
Parachute. Uh, yeah, parachute. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys want an achievement? You click Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Buttery snack, yum yum. Uh, let's see. All right, tank. Yeah. Tanks for the memories. Near. Yeah. Twenty thirteen is when the game came out. Relentless bounty hunter. Another one. I'm a foreign Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> There's another achievement there. You click the sun. And, uh, you get another shoot to whoop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, we got a few to get here. We need to go here and get some beans. Actually, actually, we're not going to fret too much about this. We'll get one and we'll go on because we need to come back here later anyway. Punch! All right, map. Uh, we'll come and get bound to the earth later, so let's go back here. And where do we need to go? We need to go here to start ourselves on this path. Uh, expand a foam. This is great stuff, by the way. <laughs> I think I said not to shake that well. And for those of you who know, you know, there's a pun in there. Bomberman! Ah. I love how they even kept the way that... Uh, this is from Bomberman Generations. And Bomberman Generations, there's a 3D version of it. Uh, there's like a 3D single player version. And so the bombs do this really cool circular explosion. That just basically is a ball of orange that grows and shrinks. You guys should play Bomberman Generations. If I could, I would. It's great. It's a it's an old GameCube one game though. I don't think they ever redid it, but it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, Joy Buster. Remind me never to shake your hand. Wait. Oh, key get. We've got ourselves a key. And it's begun ourselves on a path to the big Goron sword. Oh, wait. Could have sworn that was an elevator. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Computer! <laughs> oh, man. I have not played Civ Five, but... I know that the I know several games that are just sinks of time. Just, just that's that's it. Your time is gone. Uh, let's see. Venting our frustrations. Ooh, sparkly. In the vault and the cells are over there. We saw over there, so we need to get over there. Magic pencil. This is, uh, maybe Scribblenauts? I don't know. I've never played Scribblenauts. 
Why did you draw a nutshot crawler? <laughs> Teleporter? I should have done that first, of course. It's our most reliable weapon. It is always here. Um... Well, I'd better get going. Stretchy juice. <laughs> it's always just death. You either win or you die. And my apologies, everyone. Had to deploy some invasive maneuvers. A flock of ducks flew by. Hey, think you could let me out of here? We've got the key, so of course we can. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Heck. <laughs> what are you doing? That's quite shocking. I'm glad I'm not in your current situation. I bet you can't wait to go home. Once upon a time, you had to click all of the words in this thing to get that achievement, but now if you just get the fail, they give you the achievement. Uh, wizard magic. Roll the one. Vaporizer. The original Henry Stickman design. Flop. Yep. Click on the flash drive. You get the flash drive as well. Uh. Yeah, let's have, have the gravity manipulator. We don't need to come back here. I think you pulled the wrong trigger. That one launches. Pulling more Half-Life stuff. Goodness gracious. Do you really want the third installment? Take care of your bird or claw. That's a Banjo-Kazooie stuff right there. Hey, yo, stop right there. What's going on? Looks like he set off some sort of alarm in the vault. What? He's going rogue? All right, move to plan B. Call in reinforcements and move in. This is Jeffrey. Uh, I got him right here, so I got him running. <laughs> Umbrella! Mary Poppins! I'll tell you what. Maybe a spoonful of sugar will make you feel better. By the way, Julie Andrews is just a queen of an actress. She is just fantastic. If you guys haven't seen The Old Mary Poppins, go watch it. Propane! Hank Yoakult, tell you what. Oh, we probably could have gotten that guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, super armor. <laughs> Wilson, we've got to get out of here. We've got chaos at our front doorstep. The Center for Chaos Control. Go, evacuate everyone. I can take care of this. Flash drive. The code is important, but I'm not sure for what it's for. One, two, one, four. We'll remember that. One, two, one, four. Ah. Uh. Loading the Gaben. Discreet error. Attempting data recovery.
Is it? Is it the prophesied time? Error, stack overflow, system IO not file, file not found exception. Could not find C program files, HL3, Half-Life 3, Gaben. Dump cache. Retry. Laser cutter, Mark 1. We'll take all our problems and push them somewhere else. Ready to try? Uh, let's do the dark energy bomb. Farewell, brave soldier. <laughs> All right, and prototype. <laughs> Center for Chaos Control. There he is. He's got the ruby. Now forget about it. We've got to retreat, or else the topic clan will be history. What is Ken? Let him go. What? We got what we came for. He's now worth the trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's go back to the map. And boy, we've got actually. Uh, let's look at achievements and bios. We should go. We've got a couple of the endings now. We should look through these here. We need GSPI and RPE. We've already got Relentless Bounty Hunter and uh, Pure Blooded Thief. Frequent Failure. We haven't gotten all the fails yet. Find all the bios. We haven't done that, of course. Um, big old sword. We need to get this. We need Barnyard Blitz. Uh, gold. Famous movie line. This one's a tricky one, but I'll show you how to get it. <clears throat> got a lot of these. Last Reverie. And then... Boy! Which is uh, another rather obscure one. But we can get it. Uh, I'll show you that one during our last... Uh, our last one. Mm hmm 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 uh, so yeah, we still need to find a lot of bios, so let's also go back and look at how many bios we need to find in this game. Ooh. Three pages of these. Uh, we still need some more from here. We need to get Dave again. Uh, we missed the sun. And this is uh, another guy out there. This dead guy, I tried to click on him, I missed. Uh, this dead guy, his leg is just blown off. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah, we got a lot to go through here. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be hopping around through these, but before I do that, let's go ahead and get the rest of the regular stuff. And then I'll probably do a real cut-up bit of me getting all the bios and just kind of here and there, a couple highlights and whatnot. And then, uh, and then we'll read them all. I have a lovely time. So, let's go down the last path. Mm-hmm. Here, peace. Check, check. This is Charles. Thought I'd, uh, give you a heads up. Uh, there's a guy down there. A bad guy. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Ah, let's see. Knock, knock. 
<laughs> they probably would have let you in if you had Girl Scout cookies. They probably would have. C4. Why would you stand downwind of the explosion? <laughs> if you can't see, there's that little thing, tiny thing right at the bottom of the propeller. You see Henry fall off. It's great. Acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I knocked again, I'm sorry. Oh, that's another great list. There's more one where there's just silence. There's the lid, there's the person. Hey, good job there. Oh, uh, so we should probably look for something incriminating. Something that we can use to prove that they're criminals, you know? Ah. And now here we have the keypad that will tell us the numbers we needed to punch in. Hmm. Yeah. All right, looking for something incriminating. What can we find? Oh, you know what? Let me do this. Let me map myself back here because I think I missed some of that scene. Alright gentlemen, we've been tasked with developing new weapons for the clan. Any ideas? That's kind of thinking. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's do the transdimensionalizer because all of these other dimensional items always work out perfectly. This is the third dimension with the flick of a switch. It's super easy to use. Gadget Gabe. Oops. You went to the first dimension. It's okay, just flip this. Oh. Well. <laughs> Disguise. Right, so if we go up to three caliber. Hey, you there. What do you think you're doing? It's Smith, right? What are you doing here, mate? Your wife's just gone into labor. Take that escape pod behind you. It'll take you right to the hospital. Go ahead. Don't worry. I'll tell the chief. And away we go. Oh, congratulations. Happy Father's Day. This can be your first in, uh, uh, time seeing the elevator, and maybe you'll recognize it later. Blue. No, we can't do that. Well, man, do you remember being a kid and playing with glue because it was really dumb and though, yeah. we were children and dumb? What do you think, man? Well, I'm still kind of new here, so I'm not really sure what to say. <laughs> Doors jammed again. Oh, hey, uh, you see that record sign? Versus records? That'd probably be a good place to look, right? Let me just, uh, help you get across that gap. Huh? Oh, this is a preponderance of cool things. So, you'll notice we came in the exact same vent in this top left here as we popped out of before when we did the ultimate thief ending. But, we came from a different direction, so we never saw the gem. And so now we're in the exact same gap, but we're trying to get to the other side. And uh, because we don't know that the gem is there and we haven't been tempted. And we've got Charles in our ear as well. So let's... Oh, uh, we got a Charles. We just have to. All right, here I come. Da, 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 <laughs> oh, Charles makes me happy. Look at this man smiling so much here. Ah, uh, all right. Ah, uh, gravity. Yeah, I have this thing here that can manipulate gravity. Should be able to get you to float across. Let me just wait. <laughs> just smooshed beyond our recognition. Does up increase the gravity or does it lift you up in the air? You gotta define these things. You really do. Okay. Uh, Let's teleport let a platform just, uh, in. Teleport this thing in here for you. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, I promise you, teleporting is gonna work. It really will. Alright, here it comes. Ah, 
I don't think that guy knows how to open the door. Yeah, why don't you let me take care of this? Stasis. Mm. Remote access. Right, uh, hacked into their security system. Should be able to open the door from here. <laughs> I love how it just slammed us down this trash shooter, whatever that is. Uh, Gatling gun! Alright, get to bring out the big guns. Hey, yeah, should be good to go now. <laughs> it's gonna be a running theme if you're wondering. Charles will kill us. Wow, this guy really is a moron. Can't believe he does not open the door. Whoops. It is indeed. It's like these VR games are really difficult because they just can't account for all the different muscles in the body. What a brutal way to go! Oh man, I remember this. Good thing We're gonna get cheap it here, guys. We'd be in a lot of trouble. Oh, did I fucking get Falcon. I, I I think he put too much energy into that one. Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Ninja Star! Hot up! <laughs> the look of disdain on this man's face makes me so happy. Alright, so, here's the achievement. This is a quote from a movie. And if you know the movie, you know that the name is Mulan. So we click M. We click U. We click an L from could. We click an A. Uh, from was. And then we click an N from just about anything. Famous movie lines. Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Need to think about this. What should we do here? Oh man, that duck just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. Charles. This is not a good time, Charles. Not that does sound crazy. Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Spook. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got some evidence. Oh, wait, wait. There's no way you're getting through there. Lots of guys, and there's lots of guns. That's all I'm gonna say. It looks like you can get around if you go through that air duct. All right, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? Ready for an achievement? Meh. Okay. I, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> okay. I I don't understand what that means. <laughs> All right, I'm a child. We're done. Shut off power. Okay, shutting down the power now. Well, a very poor choice of words. All right, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? Let's, uh, I don't need your help. I'm sorry, I just thought Ooh. you needed some help, is all. No, fool. <laughs> I love how not only does it, like, strike us, where it, it doesn't, it doesn't even, like, look like electricity hit us. It, like, punched our face into the ground and burned up the files. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? Uh, let's reroute this power. Okay, I'll reroute the power to a random room, that's fine. <laughs> oh, of his right, pictures. Andrew, there. I'm right outside, so just open the bay doors and I'll uh, get you on the chopper. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, we got a situation down in the cargo bay. Sleeping ass. I didn't realize the last couple of times I uh, I played this again. Playing with headphones is such a big difference, and that subtle little gunshot—I <laughs> never noticed that before. Okay, that was wonderful. 
So the thing we need to think about with all of these is that they're coming from Charles. And so Charles is going to throw us a flashbang. Ah, oh, that was uh, bright. All right, banana bomb. Ah, uh, worms is a lot of fun. I, I I wish I had some other YouTubers that I was buddies with to play worms with. I'm gonna try and see if I can find some people to do that sometime. Oh, banana. By the way, click on banana and you get another achievement. And force gun. Hey, there's a button on your earpiece. You should press it. Uh, what's going? <laughs> this could be a problem. Hundreds of arrests made, many still at large. Authorities tipped off by anonymous source. All right. So that's a pretty great one. The force gun, by the way, is uh, is a facsimile of the the air guns that you can get, where it's just a big old thing, and you pull pull back and let go of the uh, of the basically like a rubber band with a bladder attached to it or a diaphragm attached. And it will just shoot air like a ball uh, in a straight line for a really long distance. It's pretty cool. All right. So let's hop around and get ourselves some fails here. Let's go here first. Now, you saw we're going to get the end of a long achievement. We went down the stealing the diamond path. We got the key. And then we hopped across here and we let Dave out of his cell. And then we picked up the flash drive. And then we used the flash drive and we saw the code on uh, this uh, choice right here. Then we used the code right here and it opened a door in a very familiar hallway. Big ol' sword! And once upon a time, it used to be the Big Goron Sword, before this was actually for sale. It used to be, when these first all came out, they were all for free. But then once they were on sale, then you had to deal with copyright stuff, and so... Big old sword it is. Alright, let's retry, get those fails now. Uh, hurry up now, activate the doors. Oh, I did Metal Fist again. <laughs> Man, that would hurt. Uh, hurry up now, activate the doors. No, uh, I need to think about this here. Okay, okay, no more quick time events. That's the last quick time event of this r route. Uh, hurry up now, activate the doors. <laughs> I love some of the expressions they can make on these stickman characters. They're just really some amazing stuff. Uh, let's hop back here. Uh, actually, we need to go further back if I'm gonna. Well, let's not get those bios. Let's get all the fails first, then we'll get the bios afterwards. Uh, Dirk. Final Fantasy Sex. Blitz. Suplex, suplex a train! <laughs> uh, Dirk again. Fight! Bombs. Boy, I love how much this feels like an old Final Fantasy game, actually. 
Out of all the options, you chose fight? How boring. This is true. You almost never choose fight. Or at least you don't think about choosing fight. Um, uh, magic. Cast reflect. And we cast fire. Death. Oh, that backfired. Huh? 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 I haven't taken time to read that one. That's funny. Let's get the other victory condition. We use tools. You'll notice a theme. Chainsaw, by the way, is broken as all get out. It, it makes so much sense that that would kill him. Last Reverie. I think I did everything here. Uh, let's see. So I need to go back and do the two other two Earthbound ones. Right hand man attacked. Uh, Psy. His flash B. Flash beta. The right hand man could not stop crying. Right hand man fired a gun burst. 489 damage. Henry got hurt and collapsed. Henry lost the battle. I'd be crying if you flashed me too. <laughs> We're so funny. Right hand man attacked. Bash. Henry attacks. 110 damage to the right hand man. Right hand man created a massive shockwave. 510 HP of mortal damage to Henry. Henry lost the battle. What did you expect hitting him with a yo-yo would do? Man. And then I didn't read this last one, so let's do it. But we'll see if you can figure out the theme throughout all of the... The right-hand man was defeated. You win. Oh, there is no nothing to read because you win. I'm an idiot. But maybe you'll notice there's a theme throughout every... Uh, every single RPG... Uh, reference and how to win them. Map. What am I missing? What am I missing? Somewhere along here, I haven't done all that. Ah, this is the one. Uh, shell. What exactly was the plan there? All right, I've got another one because we haven't gotten the achievement yet. Three of three, three of three, two of three, or two of two, three of three, three, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, here's one. Uh, retro glove. This will be the last one. You look like an idiot. Frequent failure. Get all the fails. All right. Now, chat. Let's look at achievements. See what I need to get. Uh, I need to get this other victory. I need to find all the bios. We've got all of these. And all of these except for this one. And we'll get this one while getting the last victory. So let's go back and get that. Uh, last victory condition is here. So now let's dummy. You think they're alright? Pretty big fall. I'm sure Henry had a plan. Henry always has a plan. What is it? Henry! <laughs> Rapidly promoted executive. Ah, oh, this is a jam. All right, I'm going to do that one again, and we're going to show you an achievement. You think they're all right? Pretty big fall. I'm sure Henry had a plan. What is it? Mm. I also just like this song a lot.
Click on Team Fortress 2. Yeah. So, that's just about all the achievements. All the red. We now have them. We're good, we're good, we're good. The only thing we need to do now is find all the bios. So we're probably going to cut in and out a little bit here while I find all these bios. And, uh, yeah, because we're about 45 minutes into this, Rascal. And then we'll, we'll show, we'll weed all the bios and we'll be done for today. It's going to be fantastic. Here we go. I'm going to be looking around. There's Dave. But Dave isn't in there anymore because we already let him out, hmm. but he can still get his bio there because that's where he lives. Alright, let's get our son. Okay, we got most everything. This is a different ending here. Decided to wake up. We you actually need to watch the intro again to get everybody. Your skills make you worth the catch. You'll be perfect for the job. We've been having some issues with a group of thieves known as All right. You in. Hey, I've been I've been looking at the numbers here. There's two more. Think? Ah, yes. Let me have a look. Thunk. Mm, let's go ahead. We're gonna get another one once we come to the other side of this. Everyone, listen up. We've got a security alert. Keep a lookout for a guy in a big guy in there. Now let's just fail. And go to the map. We need to go further down this road here. Past this. Uh, past that. Past that. I actually need to get in here. And then glider. This is a few in this room right here. Another one in there. Super tiny. Uh, let's look at what we're missing now. Uh, we need this guy, which I know where to find him. We need this guy, we know where to find him. And then we need this guy who's in the middle of that mayhem. And everyone else has been gotten. So, let's go look them up. Hello? Oh man, I remember gotcha. this. Gotcha. Oh, there he- ah! Here we go. I think we're going to get it. Got him. All right. Let's read some bios. So. Henry Stickman, captured by the government. He's been given the chance to clear his name by taking down the notorious Top Hat clan. Captain Gale Force, the man in charge of the undercover Top Hat raid, whose idea to recruit Henry. Charlie Calvin. Charles Calvin, a veteran helicopter pilot for the government. He's one of the youngest and most experienced pilots. Rupert Price. He's moved up through the ranks quickly. He felt he could do more in the military than he was as a policeman. So, Rupert Price is also one of these people that is following us around. He was the prison guard at first, and then he became a policeman during Stealing the Diamond, and now he's a part of the military. Reginald Copperbottom. The current leader of the Top Hat Clan. He wears the hat of the previously dethroned leader. Right-hand man. He's the Top Hat Chief's right-hand man. Nobody knows his true name. Jeffrey Plum. His abnormally large head makes it difficult for him to see. Sledge Mac Rush. He can swing a sledgehammer faster than most people can swing a blade. Hans Spearman. A bit of a loose cannon. He's known for stabbing wildly with great range. Hatchman. Nicknamed as such because he watches the hatch. Like a Thorman, but for hatches. 
slice. Took a blade to the face. Now uh, he prefers to stay behind the scenes. Winston Davis lost his truck driving job due to multiple investigations after a stowaway was found inside the bank. This is a bit of a double point here. We mentioned multiple investigations because it's not only just how did the stowaway get in your bank, but it's also a reference to the Phoenix Wright ending, where it's assumed that he was trying to kill someone. Magnus Erickson, an, an eager new young member looking to move up the ranks. I'm certain that this is a reference to something, but I don't actually know what. Floyd Winters, he picked out one of the most stylish hats he could find when he joined. Dreams of opening a worm farm one day. Derbert Daniels. He's been hooked up to a hot new mo mobile game called Between Us 2. <laughs> Douglas Merle. He's not a big fan of being airborne. He's looking to transfer to a different division. Well, I got bad news for you because I can see the future. Wilhelm Kregos. He's pretty sharp when it comes to technology. The airship doors are just notoriously finicky. Handsome Harold. He considers himself the face of the top hats. With an 18 C <laughs> with 18 charisma, he's good at talking his way out of bad situations. Al Kohol, a nice photographer, a novice photographer. He took up one of the rooms in the airship to develop his photos to perfection. Uh man. You guys don't remember dark rooms, but dark rooms were a thing. Matthew Norbert. He joined the top hats because he could really think of he couldn't really think of anything better to do. Benjamin Barasus. Bar Benjamin Borsius. Loves playing single player linear story heavy video games. <gasps> That's my boy. That's my boy. That's me. Thomas Cheshire. He wears two monocles for twice the class. Man. This is my classy boy right here. Actually, it's not Cheshire. It's Chestershire. Oldman. He's actually not that old, but the gray hair caused everyone to give him the nickname. Herb Stokes, a master crane operator. He's invented four tricks you can only do with a crane. Cool Katie. She gave herself the title Cool Katie. Will it stick? Billy G. He was quite the romantic, despite multiple claims that he's not my lover. <laughs> okay. Sir Wilfred the Fourth. Fourth of his name, one of the strongest leaders in the Top Hat Clan history. Terence Suave, the previous leader of the Top Hat Clan. He was overthrown because of his reckless nature and poor leadership. Papa Joe. He volunteered for the tech support job so he could be alone and mess around on the computer. Two Ton Tony. He switched to the, from the Mafia to the Top Hat Clan. They had more flexible hours and more stylish gear. <laughs> TRNK. A failed experiment in resurrecting a long-dead leader didn't last long before he turned on everyone. Josh Fink. He's secretly been considering leaving the Top Hat Clan. Manual Friend. He's so eager to finally fly on the airship. It was his dream ever since he joined the Top Hat Clan. <laughs> oh, oh, manual friend. <laughs> You're just stuck under a rock. Oh, buddy. Harry Butts. He'll never admit it, but he joined the Top Hat Clan to get back at everyone that made fun of his name growing up. Oh, more Phoenix Wright. Ronda Pounda. Ronda got a pound ya. His catchphrase. Mr. Blanc was on track for a doctorate, but ran into financial troubles. He joined the Top Hat Clan in hopes of funding himself again. Mac Damper. He follows orders. All his money goes into his, <laughs> goes into his flowers back home. Flex Hamley. A meathead. Unleash him and he's like a mad dog. <laughs> Nertu Kage. <laughs> Nertu Kage. <laughs> that makes me so happy. He learned the secret technique to running away faster. Putting it. Plus, it makes it harder to get hit by bullets. 
<laughs> Nerd Hokage. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, there's more than one pun in Nerd Hokage. That's funny. Bob Hoss. This is his first mission outside of training. He's really worried he won't do a good job. Oh, Bob. I'm sorry, buddy. Joe Hunter. He was good to see... He was hoping to see some action in to the Top Hat mission. Good thing Henry failed then. Ryu. He joined the Top Hat clan in hopes of traveling the world to find the strongest fighters. Kent. He was betrayed by his friend who left the academy to join the Top Hat clan. He hopes to bring him back. Samuel Mundy. He was contracted out in case a large battle with the Top Hats broke out. This is the same guy who shot our heads off in stealing the diamond. Jacques Latouche. A sneaky devil. He tries to disguise himself as members of the enemy ranks, though his Top Hat never disappears. Mr. Brimley. Wears his hat super low, which makes it difficult to see, honestly. Sammy Sorry. He refuses to ever to apologize for anything on principle. Nate Box. He was called into action before he passed his close quarters combat training. Ah, oh, rest in peace, my boy. You're about to get Shao Kahn'd. Quickjaw. One of the fastest shooters in the Top Hat Clan. His accuracy is not good, so it's not so good though. Goo guy. One awkward conversation about goo on your first day, and that's all you're known for. Winston Wilson Stone, uh, now in the CCC. The director of his branch of the CCC. His employees agree he's one of the best CCC directors. Larry Gordon, for some reason who works at the Center for Chaos Containment. He doesn't take the news of chaos very well. Abigail Stone, wife of Wilson Stone. His time away can be tough, but they weathered many years together. Aww. Timmy Stone, son of Wilson and Abigail Stone. He loves spending time with his dad when he comes back from work. Ugh. They're just trying to make us feel bad, man. Mert Steele. Creator of the mobile suit prototype, along with his brother. He sketched up the schematics and did the math. Kurt Steele. Creator of the mobile suit prototype, along with his brother. He constructed and engineered the suits. Mordecai Booker. Cool suits. Can I try? Immediately loses. Dave Panpa. He's back, boys. For one reason or another, he's seen captured by the Top Hat Clan, and now he sits in their big in their brig. Poor Dave, this boy is perpetually, perpetually in our in our. He's perpetually in our path, and that always means bad news for Dave. Well, that is infiltrating the airship. That is. Completing infiltrating the airship. Here, let's let's open it up. <laughs> Achievements, fails, and bios. That's all of them. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you had a good time. And that you learned a thing or two if you wanted to get some more achievements and didn't know how. But this does mean that this is all we get to do today. So I appreciate you coming. But it's time to say goodbye. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that stuff, because it helps YouTube tell people that they should watch my stuff. Thank you all, and I shall see you all later. I know you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much. Bye!